Why does the organization exist? Why does the team exist? You have to know that. If you don't know why you exist, nothing's going to work. And you determine that why based on the vision, the mission, and the set of values that you all have established for your organization. I just read the mission of the Georgia Association of Emergency Medical Services. It's posted all out here. Their mission is different than yours. They are advocates. As a high-level organization, you are an advocate for the whole emergency medical business in the state. Most of you all are in the execution world. Your mission is going to be a little different, related. Got to be consistent with higher headquarters. Do you have a mission statement for your organization? Do you have a vision statement for your organization? Do you have a well-defined set of values? Well publicized, and so when people come into your organization on day one, they know what they are. They know what they are before you hire them. And how do you promulgate those values? Like I said in the Army, we have posters and dog tags. We talk about them everywhere. You can't escape. And once you get all that, you start behaving and believing. If you don't have people who are committed to your organization on why you exist and the values that you represent, you got to find out why. Because everybody needs to be an ambassador, don't they? For your team and what you do. If they're not, you got to find out why. What is it that they don't do? They don't understand. And if they understand everything, and they just don't want to participate the way that you as an, a leader in your organization wants them to, then you need to find them another place to serve. And you need to commit yourself to doing that because you will never have a high-performing team with guys and gals who are undermining this part of your culture, of your organization. 